be talking about uh, Z Block Origin and a lot of other stuff. So, we're going to be talking about uh, specifically the settings that you may want to use. So, we're going to go over all these here and what they do. So, this updates your lists. So, if you ever see a yellow triangle, this will update your lists for you, this button right here. If you want to change something, you would hit apply changes so they save. So, specifically, let's say you're on Android and you're using uBlock Origin. Um, you can't use extensions from what I believe on iOS, so this wouldn't apply for iOS users. But if you're on Android, you might want to probably take this. Um, you can see here for privacy, I have three out of four ticked. Easy privacy is probably the most updated list on this. You can definitely tell by the amount of uh, items that are in this list. Malware dom domains, obviously you're wrong, block all these. Malware is just bad. It's honestly bad. So, right here we can see that uh, we also have anti-Facebook. I hate Facebook. Alrighty. Um, that was a little secret, I had to say. Um, you got anti-Facebook. These are stuff you really want to tick, and you'll notice that your web that uh, a lot of websites that these block will load faster. Generally, will load faster. So, and then right here, your damn Pollock's host file. I'm not sure about what that is. I don't really need to know about it. Yes. Well, it's got a extension there, etc. So. What is the whole goal of this? The whole goal is to harden the web browser so that you are not able to be tracked as much. That's the whole goal. Alrighty, and if we go into our main settings right here, I can easily tell you that this is stock. This is stock. If I was using Tor, a lot of this here would be different. Like. I would have JavaScript disabled, I have remote fonts disabled, I'd have this set down to 25 kilobytes, and I'd have this ticked, and I'd be changing some of the other settings in there too. So, disabling JavaScript basically removes a lot of functionality that a website can have on your browser. JavaScript is code that executes on your computer and can be used very maliciously. Very maliciously. It can be used, especially with Log4j, Exploit, which actually was in Java, not JavaScript, but you still get the point. So there's always those hidden exploits that you may never know of. So that's what I had to bring up today. Hope this helps. Bye.